So hello everyone. So uh, today I'm going to be showing you how to uh, resolve some of the problems that you will have when you run a uh, emulator like 86 box or PCEM. So uh, if you already have like pre-installed software in there and the directories are not in the right area or the right drives and direct drives or directories, this is what's going to happen. So. So this game was installed on a another um, on another on PCM right for Windows 98, and um, the problem I'm having here is that this game was already installed, so it's already in the registry as you can see here. So this is uh, Shadows of the Empire. Lucas Arts, I think. So it's already registered as being in here because I installed it on a, on a, another a virtual machine. But uh, I can't run it. I can't run the game because it was on a another hard drive, you know. And I'm going to try to play it, and you can't, obviously. Unable to start the, the game unable to start it so what I have to do is if I go here and try to uninstall it it won't work it will not enable you to uninstall it because, because there's no directory see the driver network connection that the shortcut uninstall shadows of the empire that I okay refers to is unavailable make sure that the dr the disk is properly inserted or the network resource is available and then try again so obviously that's I don't have that because it was on another hard drive and I didn't mount the correct hard drive so in order to resolve this CD drive games For some reason, it's not letting me do this, so you could do it uh, this way. You could go here, go to settings, control panel, go to add and remove program. Again, if I try to remove it like this, it won't let me do it. Same. So what I have to do is I have to just install the game over again, which I can here because uh, it's in this, it's in the virtual CD CD-ROM drive. Okay, I'm gonna set it up, and I'm going to install the game again. I'm just gonna change the registry and everything and. I should be able to run it. After that, I'm going to put it in D drive. I'm going to put it in games. Okay. It's going to reinstall everything and put it into Windows Registry, and I should be able to run this program. Okay, now it's uh, installed. I don't want that. That, that, and that.
and now I should be able to run it. Just pop it in the CD. Try another one. Again, it doesn't have. Um, wait a minute. The media is not installed. Okay, let me install that. Going to empty that. Put in a new media. Okay. Again, I have the same problem because uh, I don't have it installed on this computer. But I installed it on another virtual machine. And that's So I'll do the same thing. Go to here, go to control panel, go to add and remove, go to Jedi Knights and reinstall it again. Okay, it's right here. So you have to set up the program again. Go through this ordeal. So I just have to reinstall it and everything should work. Just like that. directory well, it's going to reinstall everything Okay, great. Obviously, I can't register online. Because this is such an old game. No, I don't want to read it. 
I already installed DirectX. Okay, um, let's see. Now let's see if it runs. does indeed run. Okay, that's working. Alright, that's good. Get out of here now. Okay, that's what you could do to reinstall um, games which are not connected to your hard drive. So you could just uh, so obviously you can uninstall it just like that because uh, the directory doesn't exist. So you just have to go into Control Panel and reinstall programs. That's it. Hey, thanks for watching, my Ace. 1000KS 1975 signing out to get out its alt control page down I mean to get out of full screen and just exit okay thanks for watching